Hi, I'm Mr. Oaks, and today's Alex topic is graphing a parabola of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c with rational coefficients. Now, that means that we have fractions for coefficients, and there's no ways to, to do this real easily. It just takes a little while, and uh, Alex suggests that we do this by completing the square. <laughs> if it were me, I'd love to just grab my graph and calculator, plug it in there, and find the, the graph. Now, that being said, it says find five points on the parabola, the vertex, and two points to the left, and two points to the right. So like we've probably seen before, finding the vertex is going to be our first step. They want us to take this and write it in vertex form, and we'll do that by completing the square. Once we get the vertex, then we can plug some values in to get the other points that are involved. So let's go ahead and talk about the steps to turn this into vertex form. It's y equals 2 thirds x squared plus 4 thirds x plus 8 thirds. Now, I don't even like those fractions very much, but we're kind of stuck with them. Unless we multiply both sides by a 3. And if we do that, we will get 3y equals 2x squared plus 4x plus 8. And now, oh, mamacita, if I wanted to, I don't like to do completing the square in this regards. So I'm going to undo some things. I'm going to divide everything by 2 on both sides. That's going to give me 3 over 2y equals x squared plus 2x plus 4. That's just going to help me out a little bit, okay? And here's why. When I complete the square, I prefer not to have values in front of the x squared. It just makes it easier for me to think about, and we'll undo all this stuff later. So y equals, I'm sorry, 3 halves y equals, uh, when I complete the square, I'm just going to take the part I want, x squared plus 2x plus blank, and I'm going to throw this plus 4 on the back side. I haven't done anything. All I did was put some parentheses around. The associated property allows us to group things however we want. But because I have this plus blank here, I need to have a plus blank plus blank on the other side. Because whenever I add something on one side, I need to add it to the other. So to figure out what goes into the blank, we take the middle term, which is 2. That's our B term in this quadratic right here. And we cut it in half. So 2 cut in half. And then we square it. So 2 divided by 2 squared gives us 1 squared, which is just 1. So I'm going to add a 1 right here, which means I need to add a 1 on the other side. So let's clean this up a little bit for us. This is on this side. I'm going to just flip the order so it looks better to me. 3 halves y plus 1 equals, and then on this side, I'm because I'm completing the square, it makes it a perfect square. x squared plus 2x plus 1 is the same as x plus 1 squared. And then we have that plus 4. So let's continue to clean things up. Subtract 1 from both sides because we want it to be y equals. 3 over 2y equals x plus 1 squared, that's a parenthesis there, plus 3. And now I can get rid of this 3 halves by multiplying both sides by 2 thirds. I'm going to multiply everything over here by 2 thirds. It's actually going to work out pretty nice for us. y equals, that 2 thirds is going to be distributed to both terms. It's going to be 2 thirds times x plus 1 squared, and this 3 and this 2 thirds, when you multiply those together, it gives you plus 2. So that right there is the information I'm going to need to start graphing. That can give me the vertex. Remember, the vertex is going to be equal to hk. The hk value is right there's your h, and right there's your k, but you should remember that we have to do the opposite for the h. Inside those bars, that plus 1 is actually going to be negative 1, and the k value is my y, so negative 1, 2. Go to your graph, and we go negative 1, 2. We have the point right here. Okay. Now that we know where the vertex is, let's just pick a point to the right of it, like 0. 0 is to the right, so if I kind of fill out a little table here, right? if I put 0 in for x, I'm going to hop back up to the very original problem. If I plug in 0 for x right here, we've got 2 thirds x squared. Well, when I plug in 0 right here and plug in 0 right there, those cancel out, and I'm left with 8 thirds. So I've got this value of 8 thirds, which is the same as 2 and 2 thirds. 1, 2, 
two and two thirds is going to be somewhere right about there. Using the axis symmetry, I've got another one on the opposite side. Now I'm going to pick another value. You know, a good value might be the value 3 because my denominator is a 3. When I do that, that's going to give me 2 thirds times 9. I already squared it. Plus 4 thirds times, times 3 plus 8 thirds. That really didn't work out too well for us now that I see it. Uh, 2 thirds of 9 is going to give me 6. 4 thirds of 3 is going to give me 4 plus 8 thirds. So that's going to give me 10 plus 8 thirds. 10 plus 8 thirds. 8 thirds again is 2 and 2 thirds. So that's going to give me 12 and 2 thirds. So if I'm at 3, I'm going to go all the way up to 12 and 2 thirds, which is right about there. And that is. One, two, three, four spots to the right. So I gotta go one, two, three, four spots to the left. And we've got this value over here. I don't know if Alex is gonna like those values that we picked. You might wanna try plugging in the value one or the value two and get some integers, hopefully. Not sure how that's gonna end up for us. Either way, you gotta use the tools over here and your graph should eventually look like that. <laughs> hopefully a little bit better. Use that to plot your points. Use this to graph them and connect them. Hope that helps. I know that's a really difficult process to go through the steps again. You need to solve this by completing the square. Once you complete the square, you can turn it into vertex form, right? That's what I mean by solving. You're getting it in vertex form. Find your vertex and then find your points based off of where that vertex is to the left and right. It's a tough problem, but you can do it. Good luck.